Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here we have one problem that is uh, 81 to the power of 5 minus 81 to the power of 4. So, how do we solve this problem without using a calculator? Let me know your clue. See here. Solution. So, here we have given 81 to the power of 5 minus 81 to the power of 4 equal. So, 81 to the power of 5. 5 we can write this 4 plus 1 minus 81 to the power of 4 so here we can apply this formula a to the power of m plus n equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n so use this formula here we can write 81 to the power of 4 times 81 to the power of 4, 1 minus 81 to the power of 4 so in these two terms we have common that is 81 to the power of 4 so we can take out 81 to the power of 4 as a common here we will write left over numbers so 81 to the power of 4 times 81 minus 1 which is equal to 80 so here 81 to the power of we can write this 81 2 times 2 times 8 so 81 a to the power of m times n equal to 8 to the power of m whole to the power of n so use this formula here we can write 81 to the power of 2 whole to the power of 2 times 8 so here 80 we can write this 80 plus 1 whole square whole to the power of 2 times 80 so see here this is in a form of a plus b whole square we know this formula a square plus b square plus 2ab which is equal to a plus b whole square so use this formula here we can write 80 square plus 2 times 80 plus 1 so 1 1 square whole square times 80 so here 80 square which is equal to so 8 square which is equal to 64 0 0 plus 2 times 8 which is equal to 160 plus 1 whole square times 80 so here if we add all these three terms so then we will get 6 by 6 1 whole square times 8 so now so we can write this 65 0 0 plus 61 whole square times 80 so here 65 times 100 plus 61 whole square times 80 so 65 times 100 which is equal to 6500 so here let us consider x equal to 100 so now it will be 65 x plus 61 whole square times 80 so now this is in a form of a plus b whole square so again use this formula here we can write so 65 square x square plus 2 times 65 x times 61 plus 61 square times 80 so now so here we have 65 square so 65 square we can write this 60 plus 5 whole square this is in a form of a plus b whole square now it will be 60 square plus 2 times 60 times 5 plus 5 square so here 60 square which is equal to 3600 uh, 0 plus 2 times 60 60 times 5 which is equal to 600 plus 5 square which is equal to 25 so here 36 plus 6 so 42 so 0 0 plus 25 so 42 times 100 plus 25 so here we already considered that x equal 100 so in place of 100 we will write x 42 x plus 25 so this is the 65 square value so take this equation so here in place of 65 square we will write this term so now it will be 42 x plus 25 x square so x square plus 2 times so 2 times 65 2 times 65 which is equal to 130 x plus times 61 plus 61 square times 80 so now multiply these two terms then we will get to 42 x x cube x square so x cube 25 x square so plus here 130 we can write this 100 plus 30 
times x times 61 plus 61 square times 80 so now here 42x cube plus 25x square so here 100 values x so x plus 30 x times 61 plus 61 square 80 so here 42x cube plus 25x square plus so multiply these two terms so x square times x x times x which is equal to x square 61 x square so plus so 30 times 61 x plus 61 square 80 times 80 so now 42 x cube plus 25 x square plus 61 x square plus so 30 times 61 which is equal 1830 x plus 61 square times 80 so now 42 x cube so here 25 plus 61 which is equal 86 x square plus 1830 x plus 61 square times 80 so now so 42 x cube plus 86 x square plus so here here we can write this 1 is 0 0 plus 30 x plus 61 square times 80 so 42 x cube plus 86 x square plus here 1800 18 times 100 which is equal to 1800 so here 100 values x so now it will be 18 x plus 30 times x plus 61 square times 60 so now so now 42 x cube plus 86 x square plus 18 x square so 18 x times x x square plus 30 x plus 61 square times 8 so now so 42 x cube so here a, here we have 86 x square plus 18 x square so 86 x square plus 18 x square which is equal to 104 x square plus 30 x plus 61 square times 80 so now so 42 uh, x cube plus here 104 is there we can write this 100 plus 4 x square plus 30 x plus 61 square times 80 so now 42 x cube plus here 100 values x x plus 4 times x square plus 30 x plus 61 square times 80 so here 42 x cube now multiply these two terms then we will get x times x x, x square which is equal to x cube plus 4 x square plus 30 x plus 61 square times 80 so now so 42 so here 42 x cube plus x cube which is equal to 43 x cube plus 4 x square plus 30 x plus 61 square times 80 so here we have 61 so 61 square equal to we can write this 60 plus 1 whole square equal to so this is in a form of a plus b whole square we know this formula so a 60 square plus 2 times 60 times 1 plus 1 square equal to here 60 square which is equal to 6 square which is equal to 6 36 0 0 plus 
2 times 6 which is equal to so 120 plus 1 so if so 36, 36 hundred plus 120 which is equal to 3700 plus sorry so 36 36 hundred plus 100 plus 21 20 plus 1 so 100 plus 20 which is equal to 120 so here 3600 plus 100 which is equal to 3700 plus 20 plus 1 which is equal to 21 so we can write this 37 times 100 plus 21 so 37 so here 100 value is 6 plus 21 so in place of 61 square we will write this term so write this term So 43x cube plus 4x square plus 30x plus 61 square. So in place of 61 square we will write 37x plus 21 times 18. So now so 43x cube plus 4x square. So plus so here 30x plus 37x which is equal to 67x plus 21 times 80. So now 43x cube plus 4x square plus 67x plus 21 times so we can write this 8 times 10. So now multiply these two terms. So multiply these two terms and then we will get 43 times 8x cube plus 4 times 8x square plus 67 times 8x plus 21 times 8. So times write this term. So now So here 43 times 8 which is equal to 344x cube plus 4 times 8 which is equal to 32x square plus 67 times 8 which is equal to 536x plus 21 times 8 which is equal to 1868 times 10. So here 344 we can write this. So 300 plus 44 x cube plus 32 x square plus here 536 we can write this 500 plus 36 x plus 1. So 168 we can write this 100 plus 68 times 10. So now so here so here 3 3 times 100 which is equal to 300 so 100 value is 6 so now it will be 3x plus 44x cube plus 32x square so here 5x plus 36 times x plus so here 100 value is x plus 68 times 10 so now multiply these two terms so then we will get 6x times x cube which is called 6x power 4 so plus 44x cube plus so here 32x square plus 5 5x times x which is equal 5x square plus 36x plus so here x plus 68 times 10 so now so 3x power 4 plus 44x cube so here 32x square plus 5x square which is equal 37x square 
plus here 36x plus x which is equal 37x plus 68 times 10 so now so here multiply by 10 so now multiply by 10 so now it will be so 3 times 10 which is equal 30 x power 4 plus 44 times 10 which is equal 440 x cube plus 37 times 10 which is equal to 370 x square plus 37 times x 10 which is equal to 370 x plus so 6 68 times 10 which is equal so 680 so now now x equal 100 so in place of x we will write 100 now so now it will be 30 times 100 to the power of 4 plus 440 times 100 to the power of 3 plus so 370 100 square plus 370 times 100 plus 680 so now so write this value here so 30 so 100 to the power of 4 so total 8 8 zeros so 8 zeros so now here so 100 to the power of 3 so 6 zeros 0 0 0 0 0 so 4 4 0 so now so here 100 square which is equal 4 0 0 0 0 0 so 370 so 370 so now 0 0 370 so here 680 so now add all these terms so then we will get a 0 8 6 7 3 7 3 4 4 3 so this is the value of 3 4 4 3 7 3 7 6 8 0 so this is the final answer 81 to the power of 5 minus 81 to the power of 4 is equal to 3 4 4 3 7 3 7 6 8 0 so this is the answer thank you for watching please do subscribe for more videos thank you and take care